welcome to a Easy Achievers Impressions video on Stella Blade. Now, hopefully you have a good attention span because I'm not the kind of guy that's going to just show gameplay over this or anything like that. I just want to talk about the game. So hopefully that's okay with you. Hopefully you spend a little bit of time. You know, you're curious about how Stella Blade is. You're curious about what I think about it. And how my early impressions are. I'm about, I want to say, eight hours in the game. Maybe a little more. Because I'm doing a lot. I'm not not necessarily just sitting down. Oh, and also no spoilers, by the way. Of course, I don't, I don't know who would spoil anything in an impressions video. But this is no spoilers, just in case you are worried about that. Uh, no, nothing here. But I, I wanted to just sit down and talk about Cellblade for a little bit. Um, since the regular scheduled Easy Achievers was a little different this week, I did not include what you've been playing, but I did still want to talk about Cellblade. So this is my my um, kind of outlet to do that. Cellblade, of course, recently launched to mm, okay reviews, right? I think Metacritic sitting around 82. Their user score is actually one of the highest in, I think, Metacritic history or something like that. Somewhere along, it was like 9.2 or something around that. Uh, very impressive for, for the users. There was a weird thing about this game. A uh, little weird controversy. I'm going to save that for the end of the video, just in case you don't want to listen about any of that and you just want to know what I think about the game. So, Stella Blade. Did not play the demo, just a heads up. I went straight into the game because I knew I would like it. I did not have much time to spend on a demo, and I just wanted to play the game. So this was just me playing the game straight off of the rip. No demo, no early, no review, copy, none of that stuff. This is just me unmolested impressions of Star Blade, uh, hopefully on, on brand for the type of game it is. So I want to start off with saying that I did not expect to like this game nearly as much as I thought I would. The game uh, opening was very cool. Uh, I liked the little opening with, uh, with um, um, light spoilers with the very, very early seconds, but it opens with this very cool space shot. Then you shoot out into these little pods onto earth and you are going to earth, which is cool. And, uh, something has happened to earth. I won't spoil any of that, but you know, something's happened to earth. If you looked at the trailers, you know, there's ruins, there's various creatures, the creature, the enemies are Natibas, very cool name. And, uh, I early, uh, impressions of the game, um, so far are great. I'm loving the gameplay. Very similar to a oh, like a Bayonetta Devil May Cry and then and then add in a kind of more deliberate kind of combat. You're not really, you know, jumping in the air, juggling people, none of that. But you're you are still kind of doing these flashy kind of combos. You're doing these uh, special moves, right? Uh, so it's it, people are comparing it to Souls like I don't even know if I would call it that. I guess I. I guess you would because there is a bonfire in quotes mechanic. If you don't know what that is, um, the Dark Souls games have a and this game does have a mechanic where you you heal and get all your your healing items back, but enemies around you respawn. So it has a mechanic like that. So maybe that makes it like a Souls like or, or something. I'm not really sure. No one really knows. I feel like when they say these words, what, what they actually mean by them. But I, I see it as a kind of hybrid of a devil may cry bayonetta game and a kind of souls like game in, in terms of how deliberate the combat is, but also there's a lot of flashy special moves and these things. And there is a kind of guard system, uh, that you can manipulate. That is kind of cool. Uh, and there's a lot of things and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I feel like other people are. It seems like people were pretty much middle of the road of the game. I'm a bit higher on it. It seems like a, a lot of people's issues with the narrative and the dialogue and the gameplay is good. And I pretty much echo the same thing, although the narrative right now, I'm actually very interested in. I'm reading everything. I'm reading about how like there's a resistance in this town and how there's a they there's a belief there's a religion and there's detractors of that religion and then there's like a resistance group from the actual town and uh there's these um st uh, former cities that used to have a lot of people in them and then you can kind of figure out why there's not as many people through reading things and figuring things out and, and i'm enjoying that i will say the dialogue however i'm not necessarily loving the dialogue especially between um the main characters I do like when, so the main character is Eve. I do like when Eve is talking by herself to, um, I guess I won't spoil it. I guess Adam. I don't know why they're called Eve and Adam, but they are. 
um, the little uh, your little friend, I guess I'll say. Uh, and the dialogue between them, I I like when I'm having dialogue as I'm going through the world because it's pretty fitting. But when they're all together, it doesn't seem like they're like congealing well. It feels like the dialogue is better written when I'm actively exploring a world versus sitting down and they actually have to spoof off of each other about things or figure something out or talk a problem out. That doesn't seem as clean and well written. But when I'm walking around, I f- I, it does feel a little better because you're because I, I, I think the writing tends to work better when you're walking around this this kind of dystopian apocalypse post-apocalyptic world and you're looking at all these things you're finding these these uh pieces of the how the old world was and eve wants to know about them so she asks and they get answered and they're in these weird nebulous things and it's very fun sometimes the writing does hit a few strides there's a couple times where i've chuckled and laughed and and liked how things there were clear jokes about certain things um I will say I don't know if it's off-putting to anyone out there because there was a the, the trailers have been very provocative about the the woman. Um, as far as I understand, the game is only as provocative so far the way I've been playing as as uh, you are. I did see a Reddit post that someone's like at, at, um, uh, it, it went past my Reddit. I don't remember who it was from. I think it was from R slash Girl Gamers or something like that. Um, it came across my like homepage. And they said, how ick is the game? And I kind of just read through like people's thoughts in, the, in these things. Just curious what people thought. Um, if I had to answer that, just in case you're, you are watching this and wondering, like, uh, you know, can I play this around? You know, it, 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 if my wife walks in, is this going to be weird? If my significant other walks in, is it going to be like kind of weird that I'm playing this game? I think it's as provocative as you make it be because you can control the outfits and what they wear and the hairstyle and these things. So if you want them to wear the mini skirt that is very, uh, very much intentionally showing her ass off, you could definitely wear that. If you want to wear, I'm actually wearing right, something right now, and by no means am I a prude, by the way. Uh, so I, I don't say this to to be prudish. I mean, I'm playing this game for God's sakes, but actually, I'm actually uh, wearing one right now that is very cool. It's a uh, sorry about that. That's my phone. Um, I'm wearing it's like a like a cutoff jacket with jeans and it looks really nice. Sorry about the the random cut there. I had a couple of family member. Anyways, back to that. Yeah, I was wearing you know pretty cool, pretty cute um jacket, jeans, and you know it's not overtly sexual or anything like that. I mean, it is. I guess it is inherently sexual with what she's wearing, but you know it's 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 not over the top. I guess you should say now. I've already, I, I mean, I think I, it was like the third outfit I unlocked. It was straight up a leather dress that was very small, I'll say. Very revealing. Uh, so there are those in the game, but the starting outfit is, I think, good enough until you get something else you want to put on. Um, I think it's one of the most fun parts. It's almost like you're paying dress up. Like you and, and like uh, you have different hairstyles, you have um, earrings, um, glasses and the and the uh, uh, straight up outfit. None of that changes how the game works. That's just how you look. And then there's uh, completely different equipment. Um, there's things called exospines mods and those. That's how you actually affect your game play. But then anything cosmetically will just change how you look. I think it's really cool. I think. It's very fun. You do not have to go crazy. I would say about half the outfits that I wear right now are not uh, insanely crazy. No one's going to look at and be like, what are you playing? Um, but, the, you know, there are the ones if you do at, want to make it um, as sex doll as possible. That if that's what you want to do, go go for it. Live your life. No judgment here. Aside from that, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done with that. Yeah, the the the, the, the outfits are fun. Um to go back to the gameplay really quick that opening section is really cool there was no map which is a little annoying uh the next area does have a map i just wanted to quickly put it out there i don't know why this the game doesn't have a map for each area it would be much easier to, to walk around and traverse i'm trying to collect everything and it's annoying because i have to really remember because the way it worked was i did the whole i did that first area more introductory stuff there's the stuff i couldn't do you do you go to the next area you eventually get missions to go back to the first area well, I went back to the first area and I was like, oh, no, it's been a minute. Is that where's this kind of got lost? And luckily, there is a fast travel system that does kind of tell you where to go in that first area. So that was nice. It's actually very good with fast traveling. 
Um, very, very, uh, very nice with the fast traveling. Very generous. You can pretty much go anywhere you want. So it was a small nitpick, but there was an nitpick there. I am liking the mystery. Um, again, not to spoil anything, but I, one of the side quests I was on, I found like a group of like a, a group of survivors that died, and it's and it's clear that someone killed them. So I'm like, ooh, who killed them? Uh, who was it? Uh, there's a whole aspect of you're an angel kind of from heaven to kill like these Natiba things. That's very cool. Uh, cause that, cause they call you an angel because they have this religion that thinks you're from the mother sphere, which is like this God in their thing. Um, and in reality, you're just from a colony and I'm again, I'm not really sure. I think you're fully human, but you grew up like as this machine thing i haven't fully figured out how all that works yet but you they bleed they have bodies but they it looks like humanity have upgraded their bodies to live forever and they have like cores so you don't need to age and you don't need to breathe or anything like that so i don't think i don't think they have organs anymore i think it's just you're just a human you don't need to breathe. You can breathe underwater. You don't breathe underwater. You don't breathe at all. And the cores just power you. But you, it, it looks like you still have blood bones. But it looks like you're mostly metal for the for the most part, for most of the people. There's some people who clearly are like all machines and maybe they have just a brain. Like, do you have, I haven't figured out, like, do we all have brains? I assume we do, and I assume some people don't. I assume maybe you can digitize your conscious, because I haven't found, and again, I've been reading everything, unless I miss something, which is, you know, it's entirely possible. I, like I said, eight, ten ish hours in the game, maybe a little more than that now. Um, I, I think you have brains. Maybe you have, like, a consciousness in a, in a computer. I, I don't, I don't know. Because if you're a brain, then you would still age. So I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if, if I figured it out and if it's not voidly vo spoilery. Um, apparently, one of the minuses where you could you, you'll pretty much figure out the game by the time it ends. I have not beaten it. One of my buddies did. I did ask, like, did you figure it out? He was like, yes, but he didn't see it as a negative because he was like, oh, I figured it out kind of thing. But maybe it gets more obvious right now. Nothing ha nothing major has happened to where I've been able to guess something because nothing big has happened. I've just been kind of going through these areas trying to find a thing for something. But aside from that, combat's very good. Narrative, all that's good. I love the kind of equipment system. It's one of those equipment systems, though, that it's like, eh, I wish we could up our values a bit more. Because because when you see like, oh, 300% uh, shield and stuff, I'm like, well, is that a lot? Is that not a lot? I, I You know, I don't know. Uh, but they are very generous with healing so far. And just to give a little background... I've played every Dark Souls and beaten every Dark Souls. I've played Sekiro. I've played Bloodborne. I've played Elden Ring. I've beaten all those games. I've played a couple games on hard and these things. So I'm very seasoned gamer. This game is so far very easy. And I'm on normal. But this game, this is not a hard game for, I would say, a seasoned gamer. Even if you've played a Dark Souls, a couple Dark Souls, or an Elden... Even if you played Elden... If you beat Elden Ring... It, 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 no this is nothing i think if you have not done any of that this might be a tad bit challenging to i would say a newer gamer to a this kind of gameplay styling this actiony because you can still you know you can parry you can guard you can dodge and you can pretty much it's it seems like you can guard every attack in the game other than ones that are clearly indicated so aside from all that, I think difficulty wise, I when I hear Souls like, I'm like, eh, because that didn't denotes the difficulty. I really don't think this is hard. And it has difficulty modes. If you want to throw this on story mode and just kind of chill and kind of feel like you're a god and destroying things in like two, three hits, it's there for you if you want to do it. I think, you know, you're not I don't think you'll lose anything from that. This game I don't think is meant really to be like super difficult. I mean, I have four heals right now. I have four heals, a lot of them. Um I have six of the main heals, which are clearly meant to be, you know, flasks from Dark Souls. Uh, and then you eventually get ranged attacks and these things that you could clearly abuse. Um, I would say the commodities and the um, the the like uh, economy of the game is a bit weird. Uh, so that you have gold and then you have separate currencies to upgrade individual aspects of your guy. Sorry, guy of 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 Eve, your lady. And 
gold seems to be coming at me at such a rate where I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be spending this stuff on. I have, I think, 27000 right now. And some of that is gone just from me being like, I'm just going to buy stuff just to, just to make sure I don't have to worry about heels or stuff anymore. So I bought like 20 of some heels and things. It seems like the gold was not portioned well, or it's just, again, not meant to be hard. Maybe it is meant to for, for you know, I would actually say if we do really want to call this a solo, like I think this is a good introductory to this kind of genre for you to kind of get your feet wet. Um, I think this is actually a pretty good way of like introducing someone. Like if you would like something like this again, I will say maybe the story does get worse. So keep that in mind. But so far right now, I'm, I'm enjoying my time. If I had to guess, I think I'm halfway given to uh, my, my buddy, former co-host um, Alex has said, uh, it seems like I'm about halfway, including doing everything. So, uh, not very long of a game, although, because how long to beat says you can beat it in like 12 hours, something like that. People have said that is not true, apparently. 12 to 14 hours, something like that. Apparently, it's a little longer. I'm not sure. If you throw it on story mode and just do the story, I feel like you could probably clear this pretty pretty quickly because, like, a lot of the game, the, a lot of my playtime has been exploring. I would say f- nearly half if not maybe more has just been exploring and looking around and finding different things and doing quests and upgrading my person and doing all that stuff i would say a good portion of that has just been spending my time doing that and not necessarily doing anything else so just doing actually the main story if i had just done the main story i i would be a lot further in this game so this does i think have enough weight to justify the price tag let's not forget this is a $70 $70 game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, you know, hefty price tag, uh, full price game. I do recommend it. I think it is already from what I've played. I think it's well worth that price, but I understand times are tough if you want to wait, of course, a sale. I mean, there's nothing wrong with waiting in the game world, right? You will never lose anything from waiting other than the conversation around the game, which doesn't feel like a lot of people are playing this game. But who knows? Maybe they are. Maybe the they're just being you know quiet or you know I see a couple of tweets here and there but it doesn't seem like it's exploded it just seems like you know a, okay number I'm curious on if shift up I'm sure shift up is happy because it did go viral for a while so I imagine they're doing pretty well pretty well we'll see I'm very happy very glad another another Korean game studio popping off let's not forget Liza P um oh uh I I heard this kind of thrown around there is this another Liza P no. Eliza uh, P, I think, is very, 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 very good. This is not Eliza P, but this, th- not everything, you know, should be compared to the best, one of the best in the genres, right? It's, let's, I think this is well worth the price, the, I guess, nameship, or, you know, like people were pointing it to us. So it's like, I think it is worth that. like prize because usually only souls likes are thrown their way about good games although i don't really see it as a souls like um i see it as a good intro to what you would expect different souls games would be and and um and, and all that nature so i think that's my my impressions for seller blade fully recommend taking the time to go and purchase this have a good time expect a spoil cast if i can find someone to do it i don't know Uh, If I will, but we'll see. Um, But until next, go Chief.